This video is the second tutorial in a series of tutorials designed to guide you through Google Docs. Each video will end with a task for you to complete, and at the conclusion of the series, you will have one document to share with your instructor. In this video, we are going to learn how to center, right and left justify. We're going to learn about some font settings and bullets and highlighting. So your task is these three steps. First you're going to create a teacher specified heading where you'll learn left justifying. Then you're going to title your document and the title of it will be information you should know about your name. Then you're going to center the title, change the font to syncopate, change the color of your name to your favorite color, type the text my academic strengths at the left margin, and then list with bullets your three academic strengths. We'll be returning to this list frequently throughout the presentation. So here's the document you were left with prior. Now let's get started. So your first step was to create a teacher specified heading. This is the heading for my students. Oops. <laughs> Last name, comma, first name, date, and that's, oh, and the assignment. That's just about it. Your teacher might have uh, different ones. Next, to title your document, information you should know about your name. So, we're going to center this. We can either press the center button now, which is up here, or we can type first. I typed it first. Um, I'm going to highlight it and oops, and press the center button. Next, we're going to change the font. The font is here. Its default is Arial. I'm going to change it to Syncopate in alphabetical order. Let's change the font size as well. Let's change it to 18. Yeah, it looks good. And next, you will change the color of your name to your favorite color. My favorite color is pink. It's an ugly pink. I'll still choose it. And lastly, let's also bold our title. So we're going to highlight the whole thing and we're going to bold it. The bold is up here at the top. Bold, italics, underline. Okay, next we're going to type my academic strengths at the left margin. So we're going to hit the enter key and notice how it stays in the center. We need to left justify again. That's up here. We need to change our font color back to black and we need to unbold. All that would have been avoided if I had pressed the enter key after the title and then gone back up and made my changes. And of course, um, let's change the font size back to 12. Okay, now we're back at our original font settings. And over here, we're going to type my academic strengths. Uh, we actually want to change the font as well. Back to Arial. Now here we're going to underline this, but we're going to run into the same problem again where the very next line will be all underlined. So this is how we avoid it. We press the Enter key first, then we go back and highlight and underline. The underline button is up here or you can press Control U. Control U works throughout many applications on many computers. So next type your academic strengths. And we want to bullet those. So again I, I like to put the enter key afterward 
and then do my bulleting for the same reasons as before. So we highlight these and up here we can choose between numbering or bullets. We're going to choose bullets. And we have done all of our tasks. We have listed with bullets our three academic strengths, which was our last task. Thank you for watching this second video in this series on navigating through Google Documents. For more awesome flipped videos and resources to flip your own videos, please visit our website on this page. Thank you for watching.